Okay, we're back in Whistler, build 2202. Now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm going to upgrade that build, 2202 to 2211, next build. This CD-ROM contains a newer version of Windows than the one you're previously using. Would you like to upgrade to Windows 2000? Yes. Upgrading. Upgrade. Oh, it's nearly finished. Upgrading. <clears throat> okay. Setup is loading files. We're upgrading. Okay, now we're in the second part of the setup. Anyway, let's load. We're copying the files back. Okay, it deleted all the 2202 files and put in the 2211 files.
reboot. Okay, now we are at the boot screen. Still says it's Windows 2000. But this is the second build of Whistler that is leaked so far. Okay, now we're at the general user interface setup. I do know you could upgrade um, a beta to a wider build. This is the second of the three pre beta builds. Just let you know. And then we're on to beta one. The beta one builds have the watercolor theme. Beta two does have the lunar theme but it's still called Whistler and then and then we got the release candidate and then the release to manufacturing I think there's a bit of free for Windows XP. Hmm. 
Yes, we're calling this build Milestone 1. The previous one, 2202, was a post RTM build of um, Windows 2000. This is actually Milestone 1. It's the second build of Whistler. Plus, do not say it's Windows 2000. Well, this is going to take a while. This is taking a long time. Well, I'm expecting this to still look like Windows 2000, this build. And the next build I'm doing after this is probably 2223. Setup is finished. Well, I'm gonna come back now. Setup is finished now. Now we're at the boot screen. This is not the last build to have that boot screen. The next build to two to three isn't either. 
2250, that's the first build with the watercolor theme. The first build to say whistle everywhere, but it still says Windows 2000 on the boot screen on that build. That was the last build to have th that boot screen. This is going to take a while. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, setup is finished now. As you can see, they replaced the Windows 2000 picture with this. Internet Explorer 5.5. Still has Windows 2000 startup sound. This isn't any different from the last bill except for that picture. Yeah. We don't need this anymore because we're already in the next build. Let me check this again. See, two, two, one, one. Still got this stupid picture. Well, that's it for this upgrade video. I'm going to shut it down now. Whistler Windows 2001 Professional Build 2211.